Some of the most prestigious and luxurious manufactured products sold on a global scale are the watches made by Rolex SA. We are here today with the CEO of Rolex, Dina Ricardo Marini, who is enthusiastic to explain all that is Rolex. Good afternoon, Mr. Marini. What natural resources does your company extract in order to create Rolex? Good afternoon, Mr. Townsend. The precious metals that my company uses to create our products are iron, nickel, gold, and platinum. The iron and nickel were refined to create 904L stainless steel, which is essential to building several parts of our durable and long-lasting watches. The gold and platinum are purified to create 75% pure gold and platinum. These two purified metals contribute to forming several parts of the watch. There are also many ceramic pieces which are produced to serve as cheaper watch faces and extraneous parts. Where are these resources mined? The iron and nickel which create the backbone of the watches are typically mined in Australia and China. The gold and platinum are typically mined in South Africa, and the ceramic is typically manufactured in Switzerland. Are there any other special natural materials used? My company uses several specialized gemstones for our intricate vessels and designs. The most famous of our gems are diamond, sapphires, and mother of pearl. Only a small minority of these precious gems are mined naturally, though, and most of them are made synthetically due to the rarity. However, the diamonds that are naturally excavated are extracted in Botswana, Russia, and South Africa, and the mother of pearl is typically harvested in Japan and the UAE. The sapphires are most times synthetically made in Switzerland, though, where they are processed. Can you describe to me the working conditions and job treatment of the miners? Unfortunately, many of those who work in the mines are lower class people in countries which do not provide benefits for primary sector workers. These people typically have low wages, little to no ind dispensable income, and have barely enough to sustain a lifestyle that we would consider undesirable. They have very little. Um, most of these workers are exposed to dangerous chemicals and pollutants, and they're, they must deal with the constant threat of poisonous gases, explosions, and cave-ins that kill thousands every year. How does this affect the environment? The direct and at most times improper molding and fusing of these metals releases deadly toxins into the Earth's atmosphere. These particulates and chemicals contribute to the greenhouse effect and the nature of the lives of many people. The dumping of waste solvents into rivers also pollutes these rivers and eventually the ocean. Where might I find your products manufactured? Well, there are no manufacturers outside of Geneva, Switzerland. The three main stages are all in different regions of the city. The first stage occurs at the Planet site, where the base items of the watch are constructed. The second stage occurs in Chenebou, where the bezels and intricate items are made. And the third stage takes place in Bien, where the ceramic glass is glued onto the watch face and all other parts are finalized and assembled. Why is the manufacturing so close to the company headquarters? The executives have decided that this is best for ensuring the quality of our product. There are cheaper costs for imports in Geneva due to open international trade policies, and there is much more frequent and effective company oversight. Does it gain weight as it goes through the process? Yes and no. As the minerals are refined and further processed, they lose weight and are thus bulk reducing, but as they are again compiled and made into the watch, it becomes bulk gaining. Uh -huh. Who manufactures these products and how are they treated? The workers in this stage are better off than those in the first. They'd be best described as middle class. Their pay is higher, they're treated better, and their lives are more comfortable. Watchmakers are rare and Rolex strives for the best, so becoming an employee at Rolex is very difficult, but the rewards are well worth the effort. What are the environmental impacts of manufacturing a Rolex? There isn't as much environmental impact in manufacturing, because most of these products are handmade, not machined, and thus there are no toxins or pollutants created from this stage in assembling the watches. The second stage is by far the most sustainable and efficient of our stages. Are there any Rolex stores in Dallas? There are no exclusively Rolex stores anywhere, but there are many vendors in the Dallas area such as Eisenman, Bachendorf, and Boole. These locations allow you to purchase our products to show off while telling the time. Where would a Rolex go if it was thrown away? Well, but before you throw it away, you can send it to be repaired at a local repair shop. The nearest facility to Dallas is the Rolex building at 2651 North Warwood in Dallas. Are there any environmental impacts for discarding Rolex? There are very little environmental consequences if the watch is not discarded. However, the packaging would still be recycled or burnt. 
If incinerated, the material would release toxins into the air and would create air pollution, and if left as litter, it would be considered as land or water pollution. Well, unfortunately, Mr. Murray, that's all the time we have in this interview, so thank you for your description and explanation. Alright, thank you.